Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY, and this is Ham Radio Adventures. I don't know, but if you guys are like me, you probably save everything. Like, every time I get rid of some kind of electrical uh, gadget or something, it always has one of these, a power supply. I don't know if you guys, but I just keep them because you never know when you need a power supply. You know, like, here's another one here. So, and uh, so I want to show you guys what I did today. This can be a pretty short video. But uh, recently I got rid of uh, DirecTV and I went a different route for my TV stuff and uh, it was just getting too expensive and I just kept going up and I had the, the certain things I wanted for sports, they wanted to charge me extra for. So I had to send back their boxes for the TVs and all that stuff, but they didn't want any of the power cords. Well, check this thing out. I don't know if you guys can see it, if, if I can get it close enough for you guys. This is 12 volts. I think it puts out 12.23 volts, but it's also four amps. And I was thinking, what can I use this for? Oh, how about my 705 or my KX2? Or, or even some of my other radios, if I turn the power way down under four amps. This thing is good for four amps. The, uh, I'll show this to you in a little bit, but the, uh, the uh, 705 takes less than three amps, it says. I'll show you that on their web page on the specifications. So, I had a few things to do to it. Let me show you here. So the, it came with an end like this, and I, hopefully I can get this to where you guys can see it. Okay. Here, let me let me try to get my. That's pretty well focused, and this was on the end. All right. And what I did is I put power poles on it. Power poles are pretty much everything, and I, I say there's a little toroid on it also. And for being for something like TV, I figured it's got to be fairly quiet I haven't I actually did plug it in it doesn't make any noise that I can see on the radio but I wasn't hooked to an antenna or anything which shouldn't make a difference so now I had a couple choices 705 and the KX2 both take a barrel plug but they're different sizes like this both of mine though already have power poles on that's why I chose to go ahead and use the power pole and it can I mean for anything that I need to power 12 volts with I mean it's not it's not quite probably full power because it's not 13.8 but it shows on the scale and I'll show that to you when I plug it in it still shows full power out now whether I'm going to get my full nine nine watts is what my uh what mine actually puts out on full power so let me show you the site for ICOM and the specification so I can show you that it does meet the specs and like I said it's four amps at 12.23, something I'll put on a voltmeter for you guys to show you what it actually puts out. So let's uh, let's move on to that part. All right, guys, this is ICOM's website, and if you look right here, current drain, uh, the max power is 13.8 volts DC is what it can take. Uh, and usually, there's a plus or minus to that. They're not saying that here, and it says less than three amps at 10 watts. So this thing should work because it's four amps. It's a little bit lower. It's only 12.23, uh, I think is what it was. I can show that to you later. But I think it'll, it shows it'll give full power out. And the, the radio is, and I'll show that to you on the radio also. So this should work. And if it's not quite 10 watts, I mean, what's, what's eight watts versus 10 watts? Really, right? So, but it'll be close. All right, let's check that out. Okay, guys. So if you look here, RF power right here, it's 100%. And that's because we're hooked up to the power supply. Okay, so here's the power supply. I'm on, I didn't know if you guys noticed it, but I'm on FM at full power, which should be around 10 watts. This radio does not put out 10 watts, at least not on my meter. Here we go. So about eight and a half. And that's about what it puts out, okay. We'll do this. I'll put it to SSB and we'll put a little whistle into it. Now this is into a dummy load, guys. So about nine watts. That's what this radio puts out, at least according to this uh, meter. Sorry for the film work. I'm just, like I said, it's raining. It's been raining for the last three weeks and I'm just, I'm bored. And I just wanted to show this to you guys. Since I, it was my rainy day project. 
Okay, guys, so here's the uh, ham radio outlet. They've got a what they call a ham radio outlet IC705 AC DC power supply. So it's 15 volts, so a little bit higher voltage and a little bit higher amperage at six amps. But look at the price, $46. Well, just call it $47. It is, uh, looks like it's available everywhere. So down here says a 60 watt DC power supply, um, IC705, 60 watts, 12.3 volts. And, but it also has the 2.5 millimeter barrel on it, which I chose not to put on mine so I could use it for multiple things. And it says AC input 94 to 264 volts LED indicator. Uh, it weighs under 11 ounces. So uh, very, I mean, if you look at the size of it, it's pretty close to the same size. I don't, mine's down here all hooked up right now though. Uh, is it as good as the, what they're selling? Uh, it may not be, but you know what? I think it'll work. If nothing else, it'll charge it for you. Okay. And you save yourself $47 if it happens to be the right size uh, and amp output. All right, so I've got it um, hooked into 120 power, and there's my voltmeter. It's 12.27 volts, so probably good enough. It'll get me close to my full wattage out. All right, let me uh, set this down, and I will hook up the radio and show you that. Okay, let's turn this on. And if you see here, it'll say. half power all right but if i turn this on let me get my hand out of the way you can see the screen there okay now if i turn this up you can see it going up but it's not bright okay so let me plug the power in see if i can do this one-handed okay now that i got it plugged in if you see the screen now it'll go up to the full power 100 percent on ICOMs, they do 100, which means on this radio, 10%, okay? Or <laughs> 10 watts, excuse me. All right, let me turn it off now, too, and you can see that it will charge it also. I think it's down low enough. This light comes on. That shows that it's charging it also, okay? So this will also charge the radio, the battery in the radio. So uh, pretty good for free. Okay, guys, I hope this was uh, of some use to somebody out there. Uh, if, I probably won't use this all the time, but if nothing else, it's a charge the battery is one thing uh, without having to take another charger with you. And if, say, if you're in a motel or hotel or something like that, and you're just playing around, dropping a wire out the window or something, you don't have to use up your battery power. And then your battery will be good for when you go out to uh, do a powder or soda or something like that. Hey, if you're new here, just think about subscribing. I do a lot of, a lot of good videos on antenna builds and all kinds of reviews and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you might like it. You can always unsubscribe if you don't like it, but hit the bell, hit all, that way you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Adventures. Everybody be safe and hope to catch you on the airwaves.